welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a woman from Rochester in Kent. I'm going through a bit of a rough patch at the moment. I don't know why people are behaving so rude towards me. I can't understand it. And it's, it's unnecessary. Now this is an excerpt of my diary that I've written up from yesterday, right? So, this is just the end part of it. It says, I'm in the process of constructing an email to Tesco's head office. There should be no prejudice, including racism, ageism, genderism in customer service. No assistant should show hatred against the customer. Clearly, the woman who served me was displaying wrong behaviour no one should be treated in this manner, not even a tramp. I got a ham sandwich eventually in Tesco's, which turns out to be stale, hard crust. My experience of Tesco's Charles Street through yesterday was one of a, it was a horrible, unpleasant experience from customers and service, uh, service assistants. It felt like some horror show that I was being treated like a common or garden piece of shit, being pushed and shoved and treated like dirt for no apparent reason. And I want it investigated. Because if it happens again, not only will I film it and tape it and send it to the relevant authorities, I will also do a, a great big dossier and send it to the police, which I'm keeping a catalogue of events in this diary of what is happening down my street and into a shop that I go in on a daily basis, and everywhere else included. I will not be railroaded into behaving in a, in a, a manner which is not respectable for a woman to behave in that manner. A woman, a female, being dogged down until she submits to what? What do you actually want me to submit to? Right? I know there's a car with Megan outside. It's got Megan on it. And it's got a number plate of. So it's a Megan. And it's got Og number plate. We all know where you're going with your racism and your hatred, right? And you're getting away with it because, oh, that's a Megan car. That is just an old number plate. I didn't call you that. I was just saying that under my breath. Yeah, well, one day you're all going to get caught because when one of you actually comes up to my face, and say some of the abuse, the foul racist crap that you're murmuring under your breath and think I can't hear it. You're all going to be in trouble, aren't you? This goes far beyond a joke, a bit of fun. Racism should not be tolerated in any shape or form. But when you haven't got proof, because they're very sly and underhand in how they're, they're getting away with it. Right, yesterday, to try and cheer myself up out of a bad experience of Tesco, I put some money in a donation box and got some books. Fifty Shades Darker. Fifty Shades Free. Classic Logic Puzzles. I do like my puzzles. And some American religious books here. 31 Days of Wisdom by Mike Murdoch Books.com. American religious book. American USA. Cornerstone Worship Tabernacle. Daily Devotion. 
devotional prayer, guys. And disciple. Journey with Jesus. Change your world. Right, I got some books. I got something to read by myself in my flat alone. Again and again and again. And inside this book, Psalm eighty nine fifteen. Someone's left that in there with their handwriting. Psalm eighty nine one, eighty nine eight, eighty nine fourteen. O oh Lord God of heaven's armies, where is there anyone as almighty as you, O oh Lord? You are entirely faithful. Psalm eighty nine fourteen is Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Unfailing love and truth walk before you as attendants. I can't prove I'm being victimised. 